forsaken, gather us in the blind and the lame. All right, let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another You Performer Cigar Deck Talks. That's right, folks. We're back out on the deck again. Truth be told, I'm not recording this on Monday like I normally do. Um, we are definitely into the uh, no idea what the weather is going to be. Um, so I'm recording this actually on a Friday night because we have good weather. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens here. Uh, Monday this week is supposed to be just, just nasty rainy. What are we smoking? What are we drinking? We're continuing on in our spirits season. So this is Straits uh, Brewing Company, Straits Distilling Company again, from Le Chanel Distilleries. But this time it is their Whiskey Cream. Their brand new product, out the gates. Um, I have to admit the first time I tried it was not impressed. Um, but then I kind of get, came back to it and gave it another try. And uh, yeah, it's not tasty as hell. Really enjoying that nice, thick, good whiskey flavor. Just enough sweet, just enough cream. Tonight, we are smoking. Oh, dropped it. The Alex Bradley Black Market. Look at that cigar there. Beautiful, huh? Nice dark cigar. I figured that'd be go good with a nice cream, cream liqueur. Uh, from, again, my buddies over there at the... Le Chanel Distilleries, the straight. Le Chanel Distilleries, straights whiskey. Really enjoying it. It's good stuff. Like I said, it's a brand new product. Just came out. I was just actually able to find it uh, and buy it. I couldn't find it until recently. So, what's to talk about? Um, big things. We're starting bas uh, baseball, softball season. Of course, me and homeschool and mama got... Uh, called up to coach i'm having a lot of fun with it um quite a few of the parents are uh or most of the parents are really really nice um not as as tough of a time when we did coach pitch uh baseball uh we had a lot of really obnoxious adults shall we say um we don't have as many uh for the girls soft pitch um slow or fast pitch softball Going good. I'm definitely stretching muscles I forgot I had. Doing drills and uh, whatnot, trying to make some up on the fly, trying to remember some. Although I played hardball, fat, um, not softball, I'm still doing a lot of the drills the same. Um, so doing a lot of the cutoff drills and passing drills and throwing drills and um, getting the girls running, get them uh, in shape and whatnot. Like I said, it's going really, really good. Um, and I, I was actually duly shocked. There's a couple of parents who I thought um, were going to give me grief, give me hell. But uh, once homeschooling mama, you know it or not, she's actually a excellent, excellent, excellent softball player. Um, she actually had a scholarship for a college, but she wanted to go to that college, so she didn't take it. Really, really skilled in softball. It's a lot of fun to work with her. Um, I'm actually the assistant coach. Um, I don't know as much about softball as she does. That's why I'm out doing conditioning, doing the drills, having fun with it. No other real big uh, announcements. Like you can kind of see the weather is starting to get better and better. I'm not seeing any buds on the trees yet, so no leaves inbound. Uh, we are getting some green grass growing, and uh, hopefully, maybe this Sunday, uh, we'll bust out the tiller and start tilling the garden up. If not Sunday, this week, week coming up, we're going to start breaking ground, getting stuff in, getting our potatoes in, um, some of our other hardier crops that don't mind a little, a little colder weather. Now, we're still about a month off from the official put uh, seeds in the ground time usually that's towards the end of may was that memorial day i think is in may uh rule of thumb is you don't plant till memorial day getting excited about that 
Um, as far as the topic tonight, let's talk about new things, trying new things. Um, I think I've talked about it before, but let's let's just kind of talk about it again. It's kind of interesting how many people are won't try something new. Some people's buckets list just astonish me that you can have something so simple on your bucket list. Well, I want to try and learn a new language. Well, do it. What is honestly stopping you from just learning a new language? Uh, spoiler alert, it's you. You're the one stopping you. You're the one who is uh, standing in your way. A lot of it's toolbox fallacy. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not innocent of that. I'm definitely guilty of the toolbox fallacy. That's where you believe you need certain tools in your toolbox before you can do something. So, you know, I can't learn new language until I buy Rosetta software. And, you know, I can't buy Rosetta software until I get a better computer. And I can't get a better computer until I on and on and on and on. When truthfully, you get the app, put it on your smartphone, and just do it. Um, yeah, and I'm just as guilty as everyone else. There are lots of stuff that I do the toolbox fallacy for. No, I need this first. I need this first. Truthfully, you don't. Just do it. Um, one of the young ladies I was talking to or uh, uh, teaching EMS classes was talking about she wanted to get into woodworking. I said, okay, what's stopping you? Oh, I don't have this. I don't have that. I was like, bullshit. Let's go get in the ambulance hardware store. I will buy you $10 worth of two by fours and uh, a knife or something. You know, start if you want to whittle or carve or, or build and just start building. You'll know what works for you. No, it doesn't. Just try something new. Uh, it's kind of like this whiskey. I'm glad Straits is expanding their their selection. Uh, for a while there, they're just going to do the big three. A whiskey, a, a gin, and a vodka. Well, that's pretty safe. I pastored them for a while to get a rum. Yeah, I should do a rum. You should do a rum. They finally did. It's decent. Um, I think that'll be the next one, actually, is I'll break out their rum. No, is it the best ever? No, but they're trying something new. And I, don't get me wrong, I love routines. I love getting set in my ways and, and having repetitiveness and, and having that, uh, that knowing what's going to come next. But for people to sit there and say, you know, I just, I've always wanted to X, Y, and Z. Well, then do it. What's well, honestly standing in your way to try something new? I press this upon my kids. Is there something that you want to do? Is there, are you given a chance? You know, maybe there's something you're given a chance to, and you're like, no, nah, I had no want in the world to do that. Do it anyway. We're really big with our kids about that. You know what? Maybe you don't want to do this. Maybe you don't want to, you know, maybe you don't want to play bas baseball or basketball or softball or, you know, maybe you don't want to necessarily become a, uh, a nun. But you know what? Try it. Learn about it. Um, our one daughter did. She went to a little retreat about being a nun. She came back. She said, yep, still don't want to do it. <laughs> but I'm glad I tried something new. I'm glad I tried out their routines and got a deeper insight. Um, you know, a couple of her kids like, well, you know, I don't, I don't want to try doing whatever. Um, just try it. You know what? Yeah, you'll probably hate it. No doubt. Well, there's one thing I, I can't deal with is I can't deal with regret. Regret I didn't do something, didn't try something when I had the opportunity. Um, it's why I've learned about a lot of different things. Um, people at work are always like, how do you know so much about so many different topics? And again, I don't know a ton. I'm not an expert by any means, but I listen. I try, you know, if, if some a new opportunity comes out, I usually try it. As the shirt says, I smoke cigars and know things. But so many people won't even, I mean, with our, the access we have with internet and high-speed communications, you don't know how to, uh, how to do whatever. You don't, you don't know how a, a scientific theory works. Call the scientist. Numbers online. Trust me, a lot of them, I've done it. I was doing research for suspension trauma. 
or sorry, crush injuries, crush injuries. Found this interesting paper um, where they're using a, a new finagled medication to treat crush, crush injuries. Um, I won't say it on here, you need to sit in the class. Uh, it's not FDA approved, of course, but the guy had this good research. Uh, it was interesting. I said, okay, well, you know what? Um, I was getting paid to do this class by the hour, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to sit on hold um, and try to get a hold of his secretary, you know, just sit on hold, try to make an appointment. Uh, this is back before, um, you know, all the, all the, the Zoom and, and Teams and all that stuff was really a thing, but it's like, hey, I'll just, I'll just uh, contact him and we can exchange emails or whatever, who knows. Call him up, tell him what my presentation is about, tell him where I'm doing it, set, tell him I've heard about his research. Oh my good gosh. <laughs> um, that guy set me up with research papers, contact information. He sat down on the phone, told me the whole story of how it happened. Uh, what's the next steps? What's holding up their research? Where they're going to go from here? Um, every now and then he still emails me, asks if I'm still working around crushing injuries in the mine and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, just because I called him. He, he was thrilled. He thought it was the coolest thing ever that I actually took the time and he wanted to talk about it. And he was more than willing to share his knowledge with me, which was awesome. Very, very intelligent man. Glad I did it. Glad I took the time to do it. So anyway, folks, try it out. Try something new. Give it a risk. Take the plunge. Who knows where it'll lead? Uh, for me and my family, it has led to some of the most remarkable and amazing opportunities we could ever want. Could you have those opportunities? Yeah. Do you have to get uncomfortable? Of course. Do you have to do things that you never thought you'd do before? Absolutely. freaking lootly. Is it going to be scary? Some of the scariest things you've ever experienced in your life. Is it going to be epic with a cool story? Hell yeah. So many folks, get out there, try something new. Put it on the line. Say yes. But stay safe out there. And we'll see you on the next one.